Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. You've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A freaky red light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Like, for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still am. I guess. You guess? It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. <sighs> last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. 
How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... <sighs> He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm, that's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's a step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Hey, you ever try picturing what Principal Wells does when he's not at school? I see, like, a bed covered in teddy bears, and he's tying a little necktie around each one. That's weird. I'm a weirdo. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit, it's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck, bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. 
It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> Time to check. Rachel Amber's mystery bag. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. Now I just need a photo of David. Cutting edge in junkyard security technology. Uh, a bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe.
that's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Christ, get your ass in here. <laughs> Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that one? Ah! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. Hello, can I go? And we're back. You're listening to 87.9 FM this later. I have with me Jack Kearney, Chief of the Arcadia Bay Fire Department. <laughs> what does Frank really need to remember? It's a nasty one, all right. Big, hard to contain. We don't typically see fires like this on the Earth. Got it. There haven't been any serious injuries yet, but that could change at any second. Fight the power. The northern part of Arcadia Bay, but not advancing toward unusual. <sighs> Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Right now we're doing everything we can just to keep it contained. Gary. Well, there you have it, folks. Straight from the fire chief's mouth. Thanks for building a thing. You're welcome. Wait, Frank got a puppy. For real? Ah, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Oh, shit. The mill burned down. Jeez. That's an expensive dog. Sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. That's an insane amount of beans. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. It's always hard to tell what Frank's thinking. Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. Part of a balanced breakfast. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. Do I really want to see Frank's bedroom? Whoa! Hey there. 
there. <laughs> it's okay, little guy. Oh shit! Pompadou, get up here! Pompadou? You little killer. Argus and Bowser are okay. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. A throne fit for... Frank. Cause Frank finally gave up on the stake. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. Is this what I think it is? Glad I paid that off. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. No shit, Frank. You think I don't know about hiding things from other people? I'm a teenager. Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Jeez, Frank. So sensitive. You guys got a thing going? Mixing business with pleasure? What? No, I... Forget it, Price. Over my dead body. I'm holding your drug-dealing account book. You obviously trust me already. So what are you waiting for? I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You, you got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. I shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for telling me. 
Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. I've got a little job for you. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with him? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. Kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurt. the dorms. What would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably not a dorm. Hmm. <laughs> a new medium?
Welcome to hell. Just... Ugh. Rachel looks awesome. I might actually enjoy the show tonight. Blackwell Academy. Mm. Conserving water since... never. There's Evan. Putting his pretentious art above his sanity. As Come usual. On, In a way, that's kind of badass. Samuel. Blackwell's a resident creepy groundskeeper. Nice work, Samuel. Huh. <laughs> That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? What do you think of... Uh... Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh... deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels? Or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? I'm, uh, <laughs> looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has, with much love and no room for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. So, uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay... Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. W what do I want people to see? Someone strong and fierce, who does what she wants, and doesn't care what others think. I don't care what others think. Of course you do. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. I've got to go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price.
Such a nice white door. Though, it feels like it's missing something. Doesn't it? Too bad I can't tag it with Samuel standing right there. Locked. <laughs> Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? <laughs> what are the chances that 200 years ago, some teenager got in trouble for carving faces all over the thing? If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage mm -hmm. here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. <sighs> that bird is really pretty. I can see why Evan would follow it around all day. Come on. Hey! Shit! I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Time for a fresh start. Here we go. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Evan should be far enough away now. Awesome. Now, I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. For once, Evan's obsessiveness turned out to be useful. Uh, I hope that's actually mm. fixable. Yeah. Sorry, man. Desperate times call for smashing sprinklers. <laughs> Definitely cheers the place up. Sorry, Samuel. All right, 
Time to find Drew's room. Now that I'm gone, Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. Besides Rachel, obviously. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well... Yeah. So, what are you doing here? I'm just picking up something from... Uh, somebody. It's for a friend. Now I'm really curious. What are you doing? What's all this... stuff? I'm prepping for the Tempest show tonight. I'm the stage manager. Oh. Right. Uh, I think I knew that. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. Obviously, Rachel's fantastic, but everyone else is pretty impressive, too. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but... Not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... Confusing. Yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe, you know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. It doesn't feel different. I don't belong here anymore. It's not my school. I, uh, I don't have a school. But nothing feels different. Everything still feels shitty. And here I am. About to break into the freaking dorm so I can steal money that True owes my drug dealer. This is gonna go great.
No time like the present. Chloe? <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get expelled? Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't... I, I really can't just let you go in. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. Your job is creepy, then. Which makes you kind of a creeper. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't... You know, patrol. Is Wells pressuring you to write more students up? I'm not even a student, but sure. Don't let that stop you. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I just really need to get by, okay? Let me go. <sighs> Chloe. I just have this feeling like you're up to s Wait. You talked me into letting you into the bathroom this morning, and then you tagged the entire friggin' place! What? No, I... I uh, <laughs> uh, fuck it. I totally did that. Wells raked me over the coals for that. Ugh. Time to go. Or what? What are you gonna do, Skip? Because unless you're prepared to drag me off this campus, I'm going inside. Chloe, enough. This is my job. Just go. You have never respected me. You and all your smug little classmates. I am so tired of being shit on by high schoolers. You know what? I'm done. I'm done with this stupid rent-a-cop job. Just, just do whatever the fuck you want, Chloe. Whoa, Skip. Matthews, I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Uh, oh, 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 oh that, that's funny. Because I've, I've, got, I've gotten reports about how your head is, is really far up your ass. What, what did you just say? Damn. Matthews. Skip Matthews. really lost it there. Time to find Drew's room. All right, which one is Drew's room? <laughs> Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? 
Elliot Hampton's room. Wonder what he's up to right now. Elliot does work really hard. I guess I'm happy for him. The world breaks everyone, and afterward, some are strong at the broken places. Why does that make me sad? It's been so long since Elliot and I actually went to a concert together. Elliot does work really hard. I guess I'm happy for him. Elliot's mom seems nice. Lucky Dana. Warren Graham is such a nerd. <laughs> huh. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. Wow. I remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. Guess I'm not the only one who keeps a diary. That's not half bad. Okay. Dark. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? Elliot is... Way more artistic than I thought. <laughs> Wait, are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or <laughs> really bad. I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Maybe he does belong at Blackwell. Elliot likes to write poetry about me, eh? <laughs> what do I want to say in response? Emotional. Loyal. Introverted. Uh, odd. And... Talented? Yep, uh, definitely Drew's room. Yep, uh, definitely Drew's room. I want to say that half the fun of weed is knowing it's illegal, but... I think it'd be just as awesome over the counter.
Good. <laughs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? Bet the dinner choices are steak or steak. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Too bad I lost my release form. I was really looking forward to running all those sweaty laps. Durgaron. Yeah, that fucker's dead. Bad guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is still awesome. Uh, awesome. Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. <laughs> they look so happy. Oh, man. Looks like Drew's dad is having a hard time. <sighs> is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. Look at that. More numbers. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Damn it. Wrong numbers. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? <laughs> they look so happy. Plenty of possible combinations here. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Yes! This is kind of fun. Ah. Oh. Did little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Okay, got the money. Time to bust out of here. <laughs> hey, 
Elamon. Chloe, what are you doing here? I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so. Why? Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff, let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Drew, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Where is it? Please! Just give me one week. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. Sorry to have to do this, kid. No one steals from me. No one. Fuck. Fuck. It's okay. I, I, I've got your money. Ah, I didn't realize we had an audience. Hey, Mikey. Okay. Who the hell are you? Uh, Frank sent me to collect. That's what Frank was going on about? Wait. Are you the bitch who tuned up Sheldon? That guy at the mill he <laughs> he was an asshole he kept harassing me he needed to get the message frank was right about you let's see the cash we need that <laughs> 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 It's all here. Mikey, you need to help your big brother. Help him understand that I take this shit seriously. Come on. Mikey's got nothing to do with this, man. You help your brother understand that if he steals from me again, I'm coming back here and I'm going to break his knees. Thanks, kid. Tell Frank... I owe him one. We needed that money. You just screwed us over. Are you crazy? That guy could have killed you. You don't know anything about this situation. It's none of your business. Yes, it is. Mikey's my friend. I don't want him to get hurt. You think you're some kind of hero? Stepping in for poor Nathan Prescott? And now you're messing with our lives? Uh, Mikey, uh, I gotta look at your arm. Uh, Just leave us alone. Uh, 
<sighs> Look. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't get our dad off the streets. Does it? <sighs> we'll be okay. Day has been so messed up. At least I can talk to Rachel now. Drama teachers always seem so <sighs> dramatic. Sup, Mr. Keaton. Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love exists? <laughs> sure, I think so. But it's a lot weirder and scarier than poets and pop songs make it out to be. <laughs> you might be surprised, my dear. But in dramaturge, may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. <laughs> Word. Stephanie was our Lion of the Light Board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. That dude is... weird. I've already seen what happens when Rachel plays with fire. Rachel plus swords should be fun. Looks like Victoria has finally pushed Dana over the edge. Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? Know. Or did David Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? After all the work Steph did, it's amazing that she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. Did Doug dig David's garden, or did David dig Doug's? Sports just look so... Uh, exhausting. You'd think having a jock for a brother would protect you from getting hurt. Man, I hope Mikey's okay. See? 
Another reason to be thankful for my uh, recent life change. Slut shaming? Sluts shame themselves. <laughs> Another witty rebuttal by VC. That's some shameless eavesdropping there, Samantha. Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. Now listen to me. If I know Steph, she must have been super excited to be the Lion of the Light Board tonight. Sucks. Even Hayden seems super into this play. What is happening? Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, hey. Ferdinand. Sup, Chloe. I mean, sup, fair maiden. Great, uh, method acting. Really? Thanks. No way in hell I'm going up on that stage. Boys changing tent. Thanks, but no thanks. Chloe Price presents Firewalk. Laser Light Spectacular! <laughs> Rachel? Did, dub, did, did. Whatever that was, it was shady as shit. I need to find whatever Victoria slipped into that drink. Adding putting on makeup to the long list of reasons I wouldn't be caught dead on stage. Only the finest child slave labor for Victoria Chase. Victoria Chase is actually a pretty talented photographer. What does that piss me off so much? <laughs> hmm. 
muscle relaxers. Before your tea gets... <sighs> what are you doing here? This area is for cast and crew only. Or are you only here to try and sabotage the play like you sabotaged my homework? <sighs> God, you're pathetic. I'm here to support Rachel. How nice. I want to make sure she's relaxed before the show. Uh, whatever. Oh, Rachel Amber, it was customary among the thespians of ancient Greece for the understudy to offer hot tea to the lead actress on opening night, as a way of showing appreciation for her tutelage. It is in that spirit that I offer you this beverage. May it help to reveal the essence of your talents for all to see. Wow. That, um... Thanks. Wait up, Rachel. Bitch, dosed your tea. Excuse me? How dare you? Victoria, could this possibly be true? Of course not. A dropout Chloe is clearly directing her misplaced anger at me. I'm sorry your life is a mess, but it's not my fault, okay? Hmm. Chloe, Victoria is my friend. She would never do anything to sabotage me. Then she should prove it. Drink the tea. What? I wouldn't dare insult Victoria's integrity like that. Then again, if that's what it'll take to convince you that Victoria is a good and caring person, fine. Come on, Vic. Put drop out Chloe in her place once and for all. Happy? So happy. Ugh, whatever. If you're done accusing me of things, I'll just be on my way. <sighs> Bitches. <laughs> wow. Saved my ass again. Price. All in a day's work. And this has been a particularly batshit crazy day. Sweet pardon. We're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Ah! Touché. What? Oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. <sighs> Damn it.
can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. When life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. Got it. Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? I seriously have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel. By accident most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. You. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. I wish I could throw that at Rachel for getting me into this. Hey, I sat here yesterday. Ugh! That killed my eyes! <clears throat> Rachel looks way too pleased with herself for getting me into this. <sighs> All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless. Generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his... Hold waves! Uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. Cried. Hell is here, and all the devils are here, uh, because hell is here. <sighs> Close enough. But are they, Ariel, safe? All right, I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere.
I want to play her part. Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the isle. <laughs> In troops! Bravo! Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed, but there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My liberty. Indeed. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. The... That's not her line. Is it? What's going on? But thou assured my freedom. Didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend. Is acting in my service not replete with... Excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Keat, they're way Shh. off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures... I prefer to know... Thou still cared for my... Plainest self. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands, most faithful friend. For but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that in the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Say yes! yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. Thanks, Chloe. Well done, an admirable effort. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. <laughs> no problem. What the hell just the happened? Of your Was soul that real? Heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! On! Uh, mm. As wicked do as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself. Filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell. Till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck you.
Where should this music be? In the air? Or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No wedge. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. <laughs> I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit of what else in the world, do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all overthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands, with the help of your good hands. You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. In the dead of night, I made you in my sleep. He was shitting himself. <laughs> that dude owes me. In the morning light, you wake up next to me. Like a dream come true, I'll take you where I roam. And fall. you that the entire fate of our production rests upon your slender shoulders. <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You were... No, you. Like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? Yeah, I feel really awesome. If you told me this morning I'd be this happy tonight. You've gone through so much shit today. Right now is pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical.
Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night. Let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but... Like... Eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just... <laughs> Why not? How far could we possibly get without a car? I thought you were fixing that truck in the junkyard. I was just seeing if I could. Well, can you or can't you? <laughs> Maybe. It's not like I do this all the time. You'll figure it out. But you don't even know what shape it's in. I don't need to, because I know you, and I know what you're capable of. In other words, we've got transportation covered. <sighs> I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. That doesn't sound like Chloe Price. But I'm the only one my mom has left. You're right. What am I saying? She's got David now. What about money? I thought you were a high rolling criminal now. Nah, I didn't like being a criminal as much as I thought. You're more of a hero than I think you realize. I think you're high right now. I'm... <laughs> a no hero. We'll see. Anyway, I've got more than enough to start us out. I always get birthday money for my dad. Or should I say... Hush money. Any more questions? Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> Why don't you show me L.A.? Perfect. 60 degrees every night. You and me on the Santa Monica Pier. Forging on food truck food. Smoking up. Looking at the moon shining on the waves. And a beautiful blonde man will sit next to us and smile at you. Yeah, okay. He'll say, I like your eyes. And I'll say, back off. She's with me. You're full of shit. <laughs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? Give me something I can hold. Something solid that'll remind me what you promised. Okay, like what? How about your bracelet? This bracelet? Yeah. I haven't taken it off, ever. My dad said I wore it home from the hospital, if we can believe that. I don't know why, but... It's always reminded me that the world is a lot bigger than Arcadia Bay. Sounds like the perfect gift. 
Don't you think? You're asking for a lot, Chloe Price. I'll give it back when we actually leave. <laughs> you dork. I was joking. Of course I'm gonna give it to you. <sighs> okay. I need your help untying this. I will leave you a little more now. Only a little, huh? What if I said let's leave tonight? Really? What is this? Obviously a sign! So? What do you say? Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house. And then, we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. Fuck yes. Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Thanks, but I, I was just going to stop in for a sec and then bounce. Oh, did you have other dinner plans? Dinner plans? <laughs> I always thought dinner was something that just sort of happens. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Totally. <laughs> your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And, Chloe, 
We just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? Huh. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. Everything about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. Which isn't saying much, but... Still. Oh, I think that's an original who gives a shit. Damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. H how many cabinets do you need? Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. <laughs> so clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. If I open this, will skeletons come spilling out? Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. What the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. Solved it. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could... Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. Alright, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. It's off to the table with you. Thousand times more 
skeevy when the skeeviness is all polite to your face. They say all news is local, but damn. I bet there's like not even a single Cheeto stuck in this thing. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Mikey's okay though. Hmm. How to clear browser history, followed by a gap for all of yesterday. That's like cheating asshat 101. Poor Rachel. Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew. I'm glad I gave him the cash. Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? Yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So, I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? <laughs> what would you be arrested for? It was a joke. Not a good one, clearly. What do you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Ah, uh, I suppose that's also true. Duty calls. <laughs> Hey, good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. So this is what normal looks like. It's somehow way more boring and way weirder than I imagined. It's crazy to picture Rachel growing up here, and being happy here, at least before she met me. And now I'm taking her away. <laughs> or is she taking me away? This doesn't really seem like the kind of place people run away from. <sighs> what am I saying? Fuck this place. Yes, Chloe? So, uh, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. Yes, she was. Though, to be fair, she's pretty awesome every night. I wish I were half as driven when I was her age. Me too. <laughs> I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Those are some strong words. You think he lives up to them? He's fantastic at what he does. Of course, he's only human. Or subhuman. What? What? I, I thought you said something. Uh, nope. Yeah, uh, what did you think of the play? 
Rachel was typically amazing, but I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To be honest, I only really read a couple pages. Theater's not really my thing. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again, I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your curriculum focuses on. Damn. Shots fired, Shakespeare. Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Something else? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Hard to say. Maybe she's rebelling against something. Or someone. What would Rachel have to rebel against? We've given her everything she could ask for. Yet, I'm not sure I buy the narrative you laid out this morning in the principal's office. Rachel is not known for following along with anything she doesn't want to. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh, thanks? Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. Glasses. Damn. The Ambers are fancy as shit. Sherry glass. Sherry glass? Yeah, I'm in... Uh... It's the triangle-shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I- I think. Time to- Light some candles and less this joint up a bit. <laughs> Finally, Mrs. Amber has her back turned. <sighs> Time to fix this photo.
Got it. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Not since this morning. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. No, that's cool. <sighs> We're not. What about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. It's almost surreal. They say a fire like that could only come from a crime of passion. Passion? What does that mean? I don't know. You tell me. Because you're the DA, of course. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Enough of this asshole. Rachel may have to take it, but I don't. I'm going to turn his daughter and wife against him at his own dinner table. <clears throat> I'm not sure I agree, James. Oh? I thought you of all people would be grateful for family, at least. Gratitude seems like such a nice luxury. I can't say I've had the privilege to afford it. That is an excellent point, Chloe. We must always be sensitive to the way our privileges shape our perspectives. Well said, Mom. Still, there must be some room for personal responsibility. I'm sure you agree, Chloe. My dad was super responsible. He always drove under the speed limit. Then, one day, a truck came along and turned him into a super-responsible pancake. See? This is why it's so important to invite diverse voices to converse with one another. It's absolutely stimulating. Hmm. Highly stimulating. Since you have answers for everything, Chloe, perhaps you'd like to enlighten us with some of your hard-earned wisdom about the world. Sure. I believe that we should look closely at everyone, especially the people in power, to see what secrets they're hiding. Very well articulated, Chloe. I am consistently impressed with how politically aware your generation is. Chloe is an excellent articulator. Excuse me, dear, but if this is what passes for politically aware these days, we're in serious trouble. James, that's unfair and also rude to Chloe. No, I don't believe it is. It seems clear 
that these points Chloe is making are merely veiled attacks on me. Are you suggesting that I'm using some sort of incognito mode where I can keep my activities hidden? That's crazy. Don't worry, Mr. Amber. I can tell that my progressive attitude is not welcome in this house. I'll see myself out. James, Chloe is right. You owe her an apology. I owe her no such thing. I believe she's willfully acting belligerently just as she did this morning. It is how people like her respond to adversity. People like her? So we're profiling now? This is what eight months in the DA's office has taught you. I resent that. My office is committed to fair and equitable treatment. Yes, I've read the press releases. Excuse me? Are you calling me a hypocrite? Ha! <laughs> huh. Rachel! I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad! You're a hypocrite! Okay? I know! You lying, cheating, piece of shit, motherfucker! Excuse me? We saw you. Yesterday. At the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough! You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you, and I let my wife's compassion get the better of me. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. <laughs> Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. finish line and if you're still breathing you're the lucky ones cause most of us are heaving through corrupted lungs setting fire to our insides for fun collecting names of the lovers that went wrong the lovers that went wrong
Cause most of us are bitter over someone Setting fire to our insides for fun To distract our hearts from ever missing out But I'm forever missing out
Shit! Shit! Shit!